Today's horoscope, Gemini July 29, 2024. Discover your future with my daily horoscope for you about love, work, health, money and compatibility with other signs. Jupiter, our great benefic, dances in your zodiac sign. However, Jupiter is known to be weakened in your zodiac sign because your polarity Sagittarius is ruled by it. This means that Jupiter is in its detriment when within you. This can make Jupiter's natural blessings more challenging to experience or that we have to work harder to manifest them. When it comes to sexual trends, Jupiter in Gemini is all about having options, taking chances, and learning as we go. However, we may not be as interested in staying in one rhythm sexually, which could create frustration for ourselves or others. How do you feel about the changes in your career path? Reflect on how your career path has evolved or regressed as the moon in Taurus sextiles Saturn retrograde in Pisces. You may feel relatively emotionally and mentally stable. Considering the changes that have occurred may not shake you. If anything, you could see the value in how your career path has adjusted. Maybe opportunities fell away, or you are figuring out what you want to be responsible for. No matter the changes made, you should see the worth of restructuring your career path. Seven days after a full moon in your financial sector was met by pushback from the sun in his last full day in your income sector, today's conditions couldn't be more different. It is next week that you will have a chance to tie up loose ends on the income front, with the moon's return to an intuitive and imaginative part of your chart today and friendly aspect to the dwarf planet series in your financial sector a chance to fuel your financial confidence and imagination. Today's transit could motivate you to try new things in the exercise department. You will feel drawn to those activities that you can do with friends, or those activities you can do in order to make new friends, if possible. Look into the things you've had in the back of your mind, bike trips or even running a future marathon for a good cause like supporting medical research. These activities generally attract good people who, like yourself, value health and friendship. A strong sense of leadership ability may be present for you on this day. Because of your natural flair in social settings, this might be a strong quality for you as it is. However, whether you recognize the potential in this, and act on it is another story. The very same skills that see you as the center of attention in a circle of friends can be redirected toward guiding groups of people in other endeavors. Explore the possibility of doing something more formal, if possible. To have the moon return to a reflective part of your chart over the weekend is always going to make it easier to embrace an invitation to slow down and make time to hear yourself think. After what has been a fairly intense week and with a lot of cosmic shifts over the last seven days, this is a chance to check in and get your bearings. With Chiron, the planet of healing in his first full day in the dwarf planet Eris, her first weekend in retrograde motion in your friendship sector, this is also a valuable chance to connect with old friends or if life has been busy, make up for lost time. Two days after Mercury, the planet of communication left your communication sector Venus, the planet of love is preparing to move into her final seven days here tomorrow. Until then, Venus is not only working to give your heart and your relationships a voice but as she draws closer to a friendly aspect to Chiron, the planet of healing now in his first full day in retrograde motion, to give words the power to heal. Daily Planetary Overview Release your inhibitions today as the moon in Taurus sextiles Saturn retrograde in Pisces. This celestial alignment creates an ideal atmosphere for letting your feelings flow freely throughout the day. Instead of keeping your heart guarded, allow yourself to open up. Don't hesitate to talk about what's on your mind and in your heart. Remember, you deserve to be vulnerable when the chance presents itself. When you feel affectionate and relaxed, you find a sense of composure in matters of the heart. This openness and understanding you share with others can lead to deeply satisfying connections. Whether you're single or in a relationship, your ability to express your emotions will bring a new level of intimacy and joy to your interactions. Think about a time when you let your guard down and shared your true feelings with someone. Maybe it was with a close friend or a loved one, and the experience brought you closer together, fostering a deeper bond. These moments of vulnerability are powerful and can transform your relationships in beautiful ways. 
If you're single, your increased popularity among friends could lead to exciting new opportunities. Your inventiveness and charm make you a magnet for new connections. Have you ever noticed how people are drawn to you when you're genuinely yourself? This is one of those times. Embrace it and enjoy the ride. As you tune into your feelings more clearly, you gain a better understanding of your own frame of mind and capabilities. This heightened self-awareness allows you to assess what you're capable of and how you can best approach your goals. By showing your feelings to others, you let them see exactly where they stand with you, creating transparency and trust in your relationships. Imagine opening the door to your heart and making wonderful new friends who deeply influence you. It's conceivable that you might even meet the love of your life during this period. The atmosphere is less tense, and while it may take some time for all disputes to be cleared up, you'll approach important matters in a more relaxed and effective way. Take a moment to enjoy quiet relaxation with your family and close friends. Picture a peaceful evening at home, sharing stories and laughter with those you love most. Physically, you'll feel more stress-free, so take advantage of this time to pamper yourself. Indulge in a soothing massage, a relaxing bath, and nourish your body with healthy, delicious food. We've all had times when we took out our anger on the people closest to us, only to regret it later. It's important to improve your attitude instead of blaming others for mood swings that cause needless upsets in your relationships. Reflect on a time when you managed to stay calm during a challenging situation and how it positively impacted your relationships. These experiences remind us of the power of patience and understanding. Don't overextend yourself. Set aside some quiet time to examine your feelings and restore your emotional well-being. Think of it as hitting the reset button on your emotional state. Whether it's through meditation, journaling, or simply taking a walk in nature, find what works best for you to regain your balance. We'd love to hear your stories and experiences. Have you recently opened up to someone and felt the positive impact on your relationship? Or maybe you've found a new way to manage stress and maintain emotional balance. Share your thoughts and tips in the comments below. Your insights can inspire and help others in our community who might be going through similar experiences. Remember, today is about embracing vulnerability, connecting deeply with others, and nurturing your own well-being. By opening your heart and being true to yourself, you pave the way for meaningful and fulfilling relationships. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Let's continue to support and uplift each other, one heartfelt connection at a time.